Hi friends, I am starting a side by side experiment growing watermelons in Aero Garden Bounty Elite and Leadpot Max hydroponic system. These gardens have a significant difference in light voltage. Bounty Elite has 50 voltage lights while Leadpot Max has only 36 voltage lights. Let's see if this makes any difference in the growth of the plants. The watermelon variety I am growing here is called Golden Midget. I will be growing just one plant in each garden. To begin this experiment, I am placing one seed in each pod and placing both pods in Aero Garden Bounty. Once the seedlings are well established, I will move one of them to lead pot. Germination doesn't make much of a difference wherever we start. That's it. As always, I will add water but I will not add the nutrients right away. I will start adding nutrients once I see the seedlings. Alright, this garden is all set and good to go. It's been 5 days. Looks like both seeds germinated. I can see a nice seedling here. I don't see any seedling yet here but it definitely looks like it is sprouted. Now that I see the seedlings, I will start adding the nutrition. I will use aerogarden nutrients throughout this growth cycle and I will use 5 ml for every 1 liter of water in both gardens. It's been 7 days. Both seeds germinated successfully and the seedlings are coming very well. It's day 13. Both seedlings are coming excellent and they are looking very same. Now it's time to move one of the seedlings to my lead pot max. Here we go. Wow, it has nice root system. Just gently pulling it. That's it. I already covered all the holes with some duct tape. Even though the system comes with 21 pods, I can't use all of them. Especially for the bigger plants like watermelon, I can grow only one plant in this system. So I covered all the remaining holes and dedicated this entire system for just one plant. It's been 16 days. The seedlings are doing excellent in both gardens. Here is the one in Aero Garden and here is the one in Lead Pot. They both are looking very similar. It's day 24. Both plants are doing excellent. Here is the one in Aero Garden and here is the one in Lead Pot. It looks like the plant in Lead Pot is doing a little bit better compared to the plant in Aero Garden. And I also see a baby watermelon which is slightly visible. This is extremely a baby. I don't see anything on the Aero Garden yet. It's day 27. Both plants are doing excellent. One difference I noticed is, I saw the first flower showing in Lead Pot Max. I don't see any flowers showing up in Aero Garden Bounty. But both plants are doing nice. They started producing multiple vines and they are going in all directions. Same thing here. I see a long vine here and there are few more vines going in all directions. It's day 32. Both plants are doing excellent. The plant in lead pot is doing much better. It has so many vines and I see a mix of female and male flowers coming up on many vines. So this is really good. Coming to bounty, I see the plant is doing nice here as well and some flowers showing up. And here also I see a mix of male and female flowers. So hopefully they bloom at the same time and I can pollinate both. Overall, they are very competitive getting very close so let's see it's day 35 for the very first time i saw both male flower as well as female flower on both plants i see two male flowers in aero garden bounty and one female flower and coming to lead pot i see one male flower and one female flower i helped these plants with pollination using paint brush i simply transfer the pollen from male to female Hopefully that's going to work and uh, these female flowers are going to survive. Let's see. I'm not too excited. This is very beginning. So even if they don't survive, that's totally fine. Patience really matter for the plants. So 
just hoping for the best. It's day 38. Both plants are doing excellent. I see lots of flowers on both plants and they are in the combination of male and female flowers. I see same pattern on both plants. These are female flowers and there are a bunch of male flowers. And I did my best to pollinate all the female flowers. Hopefully some of these will survive. Let's see. It's day 44. Both plants are doing excellent. Unfortunately, none of the baby watermelons survived so far. So I changed the pollination method. I used it to pollinate using paintbrush. I was simply transferring the pollen from male flower to female flower. But now I changed the strategy. Now I'm taking out the male flower and putting that on the female flower. Look at this. Basically I took out the male flower, removed all the petals and just dropped it onto female flower. So I'm just giving a lot of time for the pollination. Hopefully this is going to work out. Let's see. Same thing with the plant in Aerogod and Bounty. I'm following the same pollination technique here as well. Let's see if any of these baby watermelons survive. Look at these watermelons. None of these are surviving. They are turning yellow and they are going to dry up pretty soon. These plants are producing lots of vines and they are growing all over. I decided to control the growth of these vines. So I started removing the tops. I simply pinch off the tops. You can see here all the tops that I pinched off. It is very simple. So take out the top and pinch it off. Like this. Now this vine will not grow anymore. Here is one more. I'm going to pinch off the top. As I cut the top, this vine will not grow anymore. So I'm hoping the plant will focus on growing the watermelons instead of continue growing the plant. Let's see. It's day 56. Both plants are doing excellent. I have so much to share today, starting with the plant in Aero Garden Bounty Elite. Look at this beautiful gem. This watermelon is showing excellent progress. It is already two inches wide and coming up very well. And it has a little sister here. This one is also showing very good progress. And there are a bunch of baby watermelons. They are still very small but looking very healthy and giving very positive impression. Now moving to lead pot. I see three nice gems here, one here, one here and the other one is here and they have a few sisters. Look here. This is an excellent progress and that's a lot of news for today. It's day 63. Both plants are doing excellent. Starting with Hero Garden Bounty. The watermelon is growing very nice here. I just placed a tennis ball right next to it for size comparison. They are pretty similar. In fact, the watermelon is looking a little bit bigger compared to tennis ball. So that's a good growth. And here is the second watermelon. This is also showing some progress. I don't see any new watermelons coming up on this plant. They are coming up. Pollination is working, but they are giving up. Look at all these watermelons I just removed from the plant. They are turning yellow after a little bit of growth. So it looks like the plant is not able to distribute the energy throughout the plant. So the new watermelons couldn't survive. But that's not concerning anymore. I still see two watermelons growing nice on the plant. I am pretty happy with that. Coming to lead pot, I see two watermelons growing nice here as well. Here is one which is showing very good progress and here is the second one which is comparatively small but showing nice progress looking very healthy. Here is the third one but it looks like giving up. I see it is turning yellow. We can clearly see the color differences here. This is pretty green which is healthy and this one is yellow. So I have no hope on this watermelon. So it is all going fine so far and both plants are looking pretty close. It's day 73. 
both plants are doing excellent starting with aerogodin the watermelon seems like started ripening now i see it is turning yellow one side is green but the other side it started turning yellow this looks like the ripening process or at least the indication of ripening process the uh, other watermelon on this plant got stuck here it reached to this size almost a week ago and it got stuck here the plant is still looking very healthy lots of foliage and very healthy signs of growing coming to lead pot the two watermelons got stuck here the reached to this size almost a week ago i don't see any growth since this point but they are still green so i am hopeful that they will continue to get big or at least start ripening at this point they are not as big as the watermelon in aerogod and bounty but it's fine it's day 79 both plants are doing great starting with aerogod the watermelon is not growing anymore but it nicely started changing the colors most of it is already yellow but i am waiting for it to turn bright golden yellow i think that's when the golden majority is ready let's see where it's going to end up the other watermelon is not showing any progress either it is going very slow or it just got stunted here it's not even changing the color so i'm hoping it might grow a little bit the plant is doing excellent and it started producing more flowers now and i'm continuing my process of pollinating them coming to lead pot the two watermelons here are not growing anymore they just got stuck here and they started changing the color i see lot of yellowish than uh, green part so looks like this is the maximum size they can grow here and uh, they started ripening they are pretty hard so i'm not concerned definitely they are healthy at the moment let's see where this is going to end up it's day 87 both plants are doing excellent look at this watermelon it is so beautiful with a bright golden yellow color it has a little bit of green left so i think it is still ripening but i can't really wait anymore i might harvest it today or tomorrow the plant is still doing great and the other watermelon is still green it is not growing anymore so this is the max size it can reach and it started ripening coming to lead pot the watermelons are ripening very well they are changing colors i can see lot of difference in color transformation there is still lot of green left but they are ripening the process is going on the plants are looking good very healthy lots of new growth same thing on the plant in aerogodin lots of greens and lots of fresh growth so this is still going on very well it's day 88 i can't really wait anymore this watermelon is looking awesome looks like it is ripe and very well i'm going to take a chance and uh, harvest it let's see what am i going to get whoa looks very nice all right it's time to taste test Mm, perfectly ripened. Mm -hmm. Sweet? Yep. Very sweet? Okay. Very. Very? Nice. It's day 101. Both plants are doing excellent. Starting with the aerogodin. The second watermelon on this plant is ready to harvest. It is bright golden yellow. There are teeny bits of green left, but it is pretty much ready to harvest. at the same time i see another watermelon is coming up it is growing really nice it is bigger than the lemon size so i am very hopeful on this watermelon moving on to lead pot the two watermelons growing on this plant are ready to harvest they are bright golden yellow and they are ready to harvest
Wow, look at this. Wow, look at this. It's not deep red color, but I'm sure this is going to be nice. The seeds are already turning black. So this is perfectly ripened. Now cut the second one. Wow, look at this. This is also very well ripened as the seeds are turning black. Now I will give it a taste test. Wow, it's very nice, very sweet. Lot of juice as it stands, it's a watermelon. And it is very tasty, very flavorful. I love it. It's day one of five. Both plants are still doing great. The second watermelon in Aerogonet Bounty is ready. It is perfectly turned into golden yellow. I don't see any green spots anywhere on this watermelon. So I'm going to harvest it now. The new watermelons are coming nice. There is one here and uh, I just see one young watermelon coming up. So this is all going very good. Coming to lead pot, I see some new flowers. Unfortunately, I don't have any male flowers to pollinate these female flowers, but I see a couple of them. I'm actually pollinating for a long time in this Aerogarden Bounty, but none of them are surviving. We can see here one baby watermelon that is turning yellow. So far, none of the watermelons are surviving here because it already has one matured watermelon and one well-grown watermelon and there is a young one coming. So I can't expect any more watermelons coming on this plant. But I'm hopeful that I'll get new watermelons here. I see some male flowers coming up. I don't know if I still have an opportunity to pollinate these female flowers, but I will do my best and let this journey continue. It is going to be pretty routine from this point. There is nothing new from this point. Both plants did very well. Both gardens performed very well. I got two watermelons from each plant. Aero garden nutrients worked out very well. And both gardens did pretty similar. The size of watermelons is slightly different, but very negligible. So I would say like both did very well. So overall, this experiment is very good. And this comparison also worked out very well. This is not really about who is the winner here. I just want to know whether I can get comparable results in both gardens. And yes, I got the comparable results. I can argue that I already got two watermelons from this plant and I still have another watermelon almost ready. But I only got two watermelons here. One bad thing that happened with the lead pot is I switched the growing mode from vegetables to fruits on the system and that stunted the growth of the plants very badly. I explained it in a dedicated video here. If I just stick to vegetables grow mode on this garden, I am pretty sure I would have gotten the same results from lead pot. Anyways, that is how we learn the things. So I would say that both gardens performed pretty close. Alright, that is all for now. Hope you like this comparison. Thanks for watching and happy gardening. By the way, if you are new to this channel or new to hydroponics growing and looking for any tips and tricks, you can find my playlist with a bunch of tips and tricks using Aero Garden and other hydroponic systems including how to deep clean these gardens. Please find the link in the description below if you are interested. Once again, thanks for watching and happy hydroponics gardening.